Welcome back, guys. There's no denying everyone wants to buy a new wheel. Anyone would be excited about buying a new wheel, especially with all the wheels out at the moment or coming out soon. And I've been saving my pennies. I haven't been doing too well financially, but I've been doing what I can. And I was planning to buy a new wheel soon. And then something derailed my journey towards that new wheel. And it was this. And of course, I'm an EUC channel. Well, I'm not one. I'm a human being, but... Alright, I lie. This didn't just happen. This happened years ago. This computer you're looking at is the computer, it's a laptop, that I've done all my editing on for every single video I've made. And as you know, I'm uploading in 4K now. And I still do it in 4K on this thing, believe it or not, which is kind of crazy. This thing is from 2013. And you still hear people today complaining that 4K is so intensive. And that's why they don't upload in 4K because of the editing. It's too laggy. And this machine right here actually handles it very well. Even for today's standards, especially considering it's that old and this beat up. And you might be wondering, why is it so beat up? It was involved in a motor vehicle accident. And believe it or not, after that accident, it seemed fine. And it's always seemed fine. This thing has never missed a beat. This thing is fantastic. It's super high spec, obviously, if it can handle 4K editing even today. Top model graphics card, top of the line CPU for its time. 32 gigabytes of RAM, believe it or not. Even today, that's awesome. And it's still an awesome gaming machine, but I don't play any games, really. Mainly because they suck. If they were good games, I would play them, but I can't see any. But anyway, this machine has been my bedrock, but as you can see, it's falling apart. And what I was saying, though, is after the accident, it seemed to be fine. I didn't even notice any damage at the time, but then it started to fall apart over the years. After like a year, I noticed the screen started to feel like wobbly, and then... I realized, dude, this thing is fully falling apart. Like, if I even shake this screen, it turns off. And then I have to, like, fiddle with it and it will come back. And I've been doing this for years now. For, like, two years, at least, I've been fiddling with this screen, just, like, hoping it doesn't turn off permanently. Kind of crazy that it's still running, right? Because you can see this wire in the back there and it's, like under heaps of stress because of the screen being out of place. And I keep thinking as if that wire hasn't broken yet. Because what happens, right, if you just move it a bit, the whole thing just falls and slams down. And I've done that so many times now. And each time it happens, I cringe. And I think, dude, could that be the last one? And it's not. This thing is like, seems to be immortal. And it's still a beast of a gaming machine. It's a beast of an editing machine. It's just a beast of a computer. But it's time for a new one because you can't do anything about this. It's like, it's just broken. It's got a, like a broken back from that car accident. But even so, even if it wasn't falling apart, it's so old now, isn't it? 2013. What is it now? 2022? And I'm still using the same computer. And it's still a beast, though. That's the funny thing, but... I thought, look, if I get a new one now, it's going to be a hell of an upgrade. And if I'm editing 4K, I did... This thing does run 4K well, but it's not perfect. Like, it still lags a bit. And if I have a new one, it could run it super smoothly and save me a ton of time. And I want to keep uploading in 4K. What do you reckon, guys? Should I worry about 4K or should I just forget this 4K thing? And go back to 1080p. Do many of you guys watch in 4K? Let me know. So anyway, I came across this thing. This here is an editor's dream. It's three times faster than the beast I've currently got. The beast that's falling apart. But still trucking along like a... Like God's wristwatch. So the one I'm looking at now is three times faster. So it's going to be ultra smooth. It will save me a ton of time. It means I can make better videos in less time. Upload more frequently. And spend less time doing it. Time is money. All the time I spend on YouTube is basically money lost that I could be doing working. I don't get donations really. So this is an expensive thing to do, if you know what I mean. 
And although I'm spending a lot now on this computer, it's going to save me money. Probably within six months, it'll pay itself off. In the speed it runs at, the time it will save me, editing in 4K, I reckon it will pay itself off in a few months or six months. I don't know. And it's similar to the EUC, isn't it? You buy an EUC, you spend a few grand, and it pays itself off in like six months because of the petrol you save. And if you're still with us, you might be thinking at this point, wait a minute, Arkwrights, you're going to spend $5,800 on a laptop. It's ridiculous, isn't it? And the answer is yes, it is ridiculous. There's no way I would be able to... I can't even afford that, actually. It is a dream, and this is a super beast worth every penny that they're charging. Because, like I said, it's three times faster than my beast. My beast costed me 4000 when I bought it back in 2013. But you know what, guys? Sometimes dreams can come true. And look what I found. The same laptop, exactly the same, same everything, for $3,300 is what they're asking. It's used, but it looks brand new, doesn't it? This is a hell of a find for multiple reasons. One, it's got a 4K monitor. Most laptops you see with these kind of specs, for some reason, they're never in 4K. You find lower-end laptops in 4K for around $1,000 with really poor specs compared to these beasts. Like literally five times slower for running games and video editing. To find a high spec laptop with a 4K monitor, for some reason is very hard to find and very expensive when you do find them. So to find this at this price with a 4K monitor, a 2080 graphics card, like the top end of its time, which is only a year or two ago, it's fairly new this thing. This thing is incredible at this price and I'm actually putting in an offer of 3000 so I'm going to try and hustle them down even further and get it for just 3000 flat I figured when I was thinking what offer should I put in I was going to put it even less to try and leave some wiggle room you know like let's say I offer them 2800 which obviously they wouldn't accept but maybe they'll counter offer with something else and I could like meet them halfway but then I figured, let's just offer them 3,000 square because it sounds bigger, you know, mentally, psychologically, it's like a bigger number, closer to what they're asking. So then I've got a chance of them just accepting it outright. So I'll check back with you and let's see what they say. And they did. I can't believe this. This never happens. I never get a deal this good. Even when it's not, because this was already a good deal, and then I got an even better deal. Whenever I offer like $300 under what they're asking, I never get it. On eBay, at least, they always try to get super close to their price. So this is like, this is brilliant. So I want to pay for this, and we're going to have this thing soon, guys. This is awesome. And to be honest, I'm not that disappointed that this is going to offset my ability to get my next wheel. But to be honest, I don't know what my next wheel is going to be. Is it going to be the Sherman suspension, the V13, or the... What else could it be? The, it's definitely not going to be the Master Pro. Maybe the Master, but not the Master Pro. It's just, as far as I can tell, that is too heavy. It's just pushing limits where it's not going to be a fun wheel anymore. It might be a good cruiser for just going like 100 kilometers straight, non-stop. But aside from that... I think it's too heavy. Bear in mind though, I only weigh about 70 kilos. So if you're a heavier rider, maybe it'll be acceptable, I don't know. But I don't think so, to be honest. It's like having heavy shoes, you know? Just because you weigh, let's say you weighed 300 pounds, you still don't want to wear lead shoes. That's what I think anyway, but maybe not, who knows? If I had a chance to get that wheel and ride it for a few months at least, a few thousand kilometers, maybe it'll become light and nimble, just like the Sherman did originally. The Sherman felt heavy at first, and then it became light after riding it enough. Maybe these heavy wheels will do the same. I don't know. I don't think so, though. That's the thing. And I don't want to take that chance and just pay a bunch of money for a freaking brick or a pile of bricks. 